I love Halloween. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a pre-recorded video, so when you're watching this, it's about two weeks from now, on Halloween. Actually, probably closer to three weeks. Um, however, I just wanted to get this out of the way because I have so much stuff and I really just want to start decorating, so um, I kind of just wanted to show you first before I got around to doing that. So we're just going to jump right into it because there's a lot to get through and I feel like this is going to be a really long video. Um, yeah, as you can see, well maybe you can't see, but I'm surrounded by bags, so let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is this jack-o'-lantern. And I thought it was so cute. It is ceramic. Um, this baby is going to go outside. Um, hopefully it doesn't break. Um, but I'm going to put a candle inside or like a little tea light. Because I think he was $15 and I picked him up at Michael's. If you, you probably don't know this about me, but Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I have gone all out every year for the past three or four years since I've been living alone. Um, I, I have been going out for Halloween, um, and the sad part for me is that usually I live in a place where you don't get a lot of kids. The year before last, in 2015, we lived in Ontario, and we lived in, like, an apartment complex, um, and I was so stoked because I was like, fuck yeah, this is, like, the optimal place for someone to bring their child to go trick-or-treating. I went all out. I, like, did some DIY, um, and not one kid showed up. Not one single kid. So my heart was broken. So this year, I'm gonna decorate the shit out of my basement suite, and um, we actually live um, behind the house. So like our entrance is in the back. So what I'm gonna have to do is make sure our gate is open and decorate our little pathway and make sure that people can see it and hopefully bring their kids back here. I'm gonna be so upset if we don't get any kids this year because I spent like $100 on, maybe more than that, on Halloween shit. So, hope to God we get children. Um, anyways, I really love this guy. I'm so excited um, to put him outside with a little light inside of him and uh, and hopefully children will come. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is also um, sorry, everything is in bags, so I'm sorry for the ruffling. Um, this is also another pumpkin. This is not ceramic. This is like, um, I don't know, some kind of hard styrofoam. This is going to go just outside the door. Um, I will do a video of all of the Halloween decorations once I have everything set up and uh, decorated. Um, I have half of my Halloween stuff still at my mom's, so once we go back there and bring it back, I will show you all of that um, fun stuff. This was also from Michael's, and he was $10, so I had to pick him up. Um, they had it in like three different sizes. This is like the medium size, and I thought that it was perfect. Michael and I don't like carving pumpkins. I love, I, I would love the like going to the pumpkin patch and picking out a small pumpkin, for us to put outside of our house, but we wouldn't want to carve it, so it would go rotten really, really fast. So I figured just a fake one is fine for this year um, until we have kids of our own. So there's that guy for you. I did pick up some window decal before this video, and I put them on my windows already. Um, but I picked up some more. This one says beware in like bloody writing. And then this one is just handprints, and I just really thought that they were kind of creepy. I know that a lot of people want to be like family friendly on Halloween, which is totally understandable because it's for little kids, um, and they get like the cutesy kind of Halloweeny stuff. But I'm like, nah, like this is Day of the Dead. Like you need to, you know, be a little more scary. So I just picked some of this stuff up, and I hope that it doesn't frighten away the children. It's mostly for my entertainment anyway. The next things, let me see, what else do I want to show you? Oh, I picked up some garland. Now, I got two, and I thought that I would put one on the gate um, in the front by our parking lot, and then another on our staircase. 
So this one has skulls on it, and this one has little spiders. And I'm just excited to use these. Um, all of these, oh, these were from Dollarama, by the way. Um, and they were $2. So, super fun. Michaels did have these as well. Um, one of them, I think, had ghosts on them, um, which I wanted, but it was like $8 for a 12 foot and this one was two dollars for an eight foot so I saved quite a bit of money um, it's not ghosts it's like skeletons like skulls on it but it'll work it's fine it's like a few hours for one night a year I'll be okay I should have taken everything out of the bags first um, this Halloween bowl now it's orange and it's got like these cute little spiders on the front and it's like all around they had it in orange, green, and purple, and I think black as well. And this was also $3 at Dollarama, and it's quite large. Um, I like to do Halloween bags um, for Halloween because I feel like that way every child is getting the same and nobody's going to be upset that they're not getting enough or too much. Um, so I'm going to do up some bags and put them all in here. At first I was like, you know, I don't really need anything. I could probably just use like a baking bowl and shove everything in there. But this was way too cute to pass up. And it was only $3. So I'm pretty stoked on that. The next thing I have for you. Let's see the candy. So I try to get a little bit of everything. Um, because I feel like, you know, I'm more of a candy person. And Michael is more of a chocolate person. So I feel like if... Michael and I are opposites, then obviously other children are as well. So I picked up three boxes of stuff, and these are all from Walmart. Uh, this one is a pack of 45, and it's got Starburst and Skittles in it. Um, and I think that was $7. And then this one, oops, let's do this one first. This one has 50 pieces in it, and it's chocolate. It's got... Coffee Crisp, um, Kit Kat, Arrow, and Smarties. And I always try to go for chocolate that I would eat. Um, just because I don't like every chocolate bar. Like, these ones are all really good for me. I think this was around 8 or $9. Don't quote me on that. I don't actually know. And another box of candy. This has, let me see, 75 pieces in it. And it is Wonka candy, which... Everybody loves Wonka. Every time I think of this candy, I think of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So it's got Runts, Laffy Taffy, Sweet Tarts, and Nerds. And everybody likes these. These are a classic. And if you don't, well, too bad because you're getting some. So I went to the dollar store and I just picked up some fizzy candies. These were, I don't know, a dollar? Two fifty. These were two fifty at Dollarama. Um, I always try to put in more than just candy in the bags. I don't have children, but I could imagine as a parent, you don't want your kids being hyped up on candy all the time. So I'm going to split up all of like the candy, but I also got some stickers, and I thought that I could like cut these up and put those in there as well, because what little child doesn't love stickers, am I right? I love stickers. I still love stickers. To this day, I get so excited about fucking stickers. Buy me all the stickers. Fuck yeah. Last year, my boyfriend just bought me some stickers, and I was so fucking happy. I got some little ghost baubles. Now, well, they're not really baubles. They're more like, um, like string lights. But I thought that I could put these in our windows or like wrap them around our um, gate or our um, staircase. But they're so cute. Like, look at their little faces. They were $4 at Dollarama, and they're battery operated, so I don't have to worry about plugging them in. Um, and there's 10 in each. So I've got 20 of them to play with. So cute. I love Halloween. I love the little ghosts. Some more candy. I picked these up as, at the dollar store as well. And they're just Tootsie, like, Tootsie Pops. Like the, everybody knows what a Tootsie Pop is. They've got the Tootsie Roll in the middle. These are just little mini ones. And there's 100 in here. So I'll be giving out a lot of these. So long as I have a lot of children coming to my door. I also picked up some Tootsie Rolls. The, the fruity ones. Because... I love these, so every other kid must love them too. I'm so selfish when it comes to picking out candy. I'm like, ah, uh, I wouldn't eat that, so I'm not going to buy it. Or, uh, fuck yeah, I would eat that entire bag in 10 minutes. Um, I also picked up some double bubble bubble gum because it's a classic. 
Um, I don't think these are the ones with the jokes, which is really sad, but these were the only ones that they had. I feel like the ones with the jokes are even more of a classic than those ones. Um, I also grabbed, let me see, some tea lights. Now, one of, this one's from Michael's, and it was $8. And this one's from the dollar store, and it was $2. I don't know which of these is going to work better. Probably this one, because it costs more, and it's a little heavier duty. But this one changes colors. You can see, like, all of the different colors down here. Um, and I thought that if it was changing colors inside my little jack-o'-lantern, um, it would catch some people's attention, and they will come to my door. So... There's that. I'm really excited to test them and see which one I like better. And just some batteries to go with them um, because you can't have a light without batteries. Um, and then I picked up some little sandwich bags. I bought these at Walmart and they were 98 cents each. And they're like little trick or treat like Halloween bags. Like they're like sandwich bags but they've got like Halloween graphics on the front. So this one was really cute. I really like the little owl and the skeleton on the front. Um, so there's that one. It's got like five different characters on it. And then there's this one and it just says trick or treat with cute little stripes. And then this one's got dancing skeletons on it. How fucking cute is that? So these are only 98 cents each and there's 15 in each. So I got three because I'm assuming since it's a Tuesday night that we're not going to get too many kids or we're going to stop getting them early. So I'm probably not going to be handing out a lot of candy. Um, but I always am extra on Halloween just in case because you never know. And plus, I'll like fucking eat them if nobody else does. I also grabbed some Popeye sticks because I love these. I still get these at 7-Eleven when I can. Um, but they're like the little mini ones. Um, oh, the bag is ripped open. Something ripped open my bag. So I'm going to be upset if there's not as many in here as it says. But anyways, there's those. By the way, not every child is going to get every single candy in every single bag. I am going to split them up and like make it even. But every bag is going to have something different. Um, back to my point about having a little bit more than candy in the bag. I also got these pencils. And there's so many in here. Um, and this one was, these were $3 at the dollar store, and it doesn't actually say, oh, there's 24 in each, so I have 48 pencils in here, and they're so cute, they're in, like, different designs, this one's got, like, pumpkins, it's got, like, skulls, and, like, little chevron kind of style, and then, like, some stripy ones in the back, um, and then these ones have, like, polka dots, and, like, kind of diagonal stripes and some spider webs. So, really fucking cute. So happy about those. Um, I'm really glad that they were selling packs like that because I always try to put in like a pencil or something um, for them to use at school. Um, and I was gonna get a pack from a dollar store anyway, but I'm happy that they had them in like Halloween style. Now, I do think that I'm going into the last bag um, so this is the last bag for you, finally. Um, now, like I said, um, we do need to put something on, a, on, like, our fence to make sure people come around back to come to our door. And I was just gonna get, like, a wooden board and make something myself. But then I went to Michael's and I found this. And it has a little arrow on the bottom. And it says, welcome to our wicked web. And it just, it's like, it's wood. And it was, it says $24.99 on the back, but it was 50% off. So it was about $13. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, so I'm really happy I found that with the arrow on it. This is this sign that I got at Dollarama. It also has like a finger pointing to go this way. And it has this little sign that says dungeon on it. So that's really fun. Um, I really liked it. And this was, it was only $2. I also found, the rest of these are from Dollarama, so they're pretty cheap. But okay, I've loved these for a really long time, and I never picked one up. And I'm so happy that they're still around, because they're like, the pictures that change. This one's a little girl. You can see it. She's a little girl. And now she's a scary fucking demon. And I picked up this one as well. 
This is like, um, she's like a classy lady from like the 1800s, maybe 1900s. And then, oh, oh, now she's a skull. Classy lady, decomposed body. Classy lady, decomposed body. I just, I love Halloween. Am I, am I like creepy? Am I like weird that I love this so much? Um, anyways, the last thing in here says danger, enter at your own risk. Now, our gate is a little bit far from like our staircase to come down. So like it's our gate and then we have like a little walkway and then we have a little staircase and you go down and you turn left and then our door is like right there. So this is going to go right at top of our staircase with a pumpkin um, or something, something like underneath um, and like when the finger sign or something. I will show you all of this later once I actually like get it all set up um, and decorated, but that's going to go right by the staircase. So I'm really excited. Um, I already have a plan in my head of what I'm going to do for Halloween and what I'm going to decorate. I'm probably not going to dress up this year um, just because Michael's not really into Halloween. And so we kind of just stay in. I'll probably make him watch Halloween movies with me. Um, but yeah, I will keep you updated on that. And I'll try to have another Halloween video very, very soon. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know that it's been pretty long. I'm seeing 19 minutes on my phone screen. So I will wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up and uh, have a happy Halloween and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.